when does a model become a top model? It's when she lands herself on the cover of a high fashion magazine or struts her stuff on the runways of world-renowned designers. That's exactly what one girl will be doing and much, much more when she becomes Asia's next top model. Thousands of applications poured in from across Asia and beyond, but only a selected few were flown out to Singapore for final casting. There were contestant hopefuls from neighboring countries like the Philippines. I'm Asia's next top model. Indonesia. I still can't believe I'm here. Thailand. Swadika, my name is Jessica and I'm from Thailand. In the end, only 14 aspiring models were chosen. These girls will be taken from obscurity to fame in this lightning-paced modeling crash course. 20 minutes! Go, 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 go! Strut it, ladies! I can mean it! They will be treated to glitz and glamour. Yeah. Rub shoulders with high-profile celebrities and travel to exciting and exotic locations. <laughs> Watch out for the tears. It's like so frustrating. The fears and the meltdowns. <sighs> because high stakes bring high stress. Each of these contestants will now take their first strides down the top model path to buy for the grand prize of a modeling contract covering UK and Europe with London-based store models, including a three-month all-expenses-paid working trip to London, a cover shoot with Harper's Bazaar magazine, a cash prize of 100,000 Singapore dollars, a contract to become the face of Canon X's 2013 campaign and walk away with a Subaru XV. It's the opportunity of a lifetime, but only one girl can win it all and become Asia's next top model. always dreamed of being a supermodel and I'm pretty competitive by nature. I actually perform better under pressure so in that sense I'm excited to see how the challenges will push me and uh, make me a better model. I work for the freelance model in Thailand. I want to be the top model. I don't want to be like a normal girl. I want to be shining in the light. And when people tell me that, oh my god, it's Jessica, you are a model, you are a top model. The thing I love about modeling is that I get a lot of attention. Just like cameras on me, everyone looking at me. Okay, everything's about you now. I love that. I didn't think that someone as small as myself could actually get in. I'm not the most fashionable person. I'm a very casual, laid back. I don't really wear makeup. I didn't wear makeup to prom. Can you imagine that? It's my first time out of Nepal. It's really quite different from the regular life I've been living. This is a really big, big opportunity. I feel the pressure coming on, but uh, I'm preparing myself for it. I've been on Vietnam Next Top Model. I run away for some uh, college and shooting for magazine. So with the experience, I'm confident that I can do the challenge in Asia next top model. I want to be a supermodel. I want the world to see my face and hear my story. I really do believe that I have what it takes to be a supermodel. I don't know what to expect exactly because we're not really given much information. Okay, so I'm just kind of like, okay, what's going on?
When the judges come out, they just like really stunning. It's like I'm with a legend. Hi girls, welcome to the first season of Asia's Next Top Model. Are you all excited to be here? Yeah! Seeing Nadia up close, she's just the epitome of beauty. The road to top model stardom doesn't come without sweat and tears and you really have to be ready to push your own personal boundaries. Now I first started modeling when I was only 12 years old and I've worked with some of the top international publications and the most amazing photographers. On this journey with me I have some fabulous friends who are here to help guide you as well. We have Joey Mead first. Joey is represented by Ford Models in New York, LA and throughout Asia. I am excited to coach you on that runway and bring out the fabulous top model in all of you. Joey was beautiful. <laughs> My God, she was looking like a goddess. <laughs> we have renowned fashion director, Daniel Boy. Daniel has organized events for big names like Kristen Dior, Louis Vuitton and Tiffany. Hi girls. Hi. I want you all to shine at every single fashion challenge. So I expect professionalism, attitude and lots of personality. Can you give me that girls? Yeah. Daniel Boy, I've heard about him a lot. I feel so amazed to see him. And last but not least, we have Todd Anthony Tyler. Now, Todd comes with a modeling background and he's going to bring all of his keen eye to being the photographer for this show. Hi, girls. Hi. So what I'm looking forward to is seeing you all in front of the camera. When I saw Todd, oh my God, my heart is set too. Beating very fast. He makes me a little bit nervous. Like, do something wrong and he be angry at me. Now we're here in the heart of Orchard Road. Now this is the iconic fashion and shopping center. What better place to start your journey to becoming Asia's Next Top Model than right here with a runway challenge. I didn't expect that, but this competition is full of surprises. The feeling was really overwhelming. We will all be in the audience. All right, girls, get ready to rock the runway. Off you go. This is the first first day and then challenge. It's a runway with stairs and I've never done that before. I'm both nervous and excited. I mean, I've done this before, but still I'm a little nervous, but I think I'll do good. I'm really just preparing myself mentally for this competition. I know it's gonna be really hard, but I'm gonna give it my all. Have you seen all the girls yet? Yeah. yeah. They're all pretty. I took a glance at all the girls. Oh my god, they are so pretty and so skinny. Chuan? She has this like a modest style. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> Chuan, she really have a high fashion look and I think she's gonna be a big competition. Okay. <laughs> Who's taller now? She is. Really? <laughs> Even me with this heel? Yeah. I was wearing heels. Like, like platform heels, like seven inch heels. And Sophia, she was wearing flats and she was taller than me still. I love my dress, I love my hair. I thought I looked the best, actually. Honestly, it looks a bit funny because I saw other girls wearing nice dresses as well. I look like clothes. <laughs> Girls, you, the fashion show is about to start. Now, I don't want to make you nervous, but I've just come from the show area and there are hundreds of people out there waiting for the show. Yes. Fashion show is about to start, so can you come with me? Come on, girls. Daniel, he put me into a very nice dress. A dress that's way too long for me. Everything is a problem right now. I'm very worried about the dress. Even with my thick wedges, it's still touching the ground. And I had never walked on a runway. I just, yeah, I, I kept getting more nervous. So nervous. Hopefully, I don't fall down. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all the obstacles in my way Oh God, all the dark clouds that had me blind 
It's gonna be a bright, alright, sunshiny day. Canon, delighting you always. As I walked the runway, I don't know where to put my eyes. It was so bright. I could feel that where the judges are, but I couldn't look at them. I am just focusing on the runway and it's just a constant reminder to bring out the clothes, to bring out my personality. I feel like I did this great. I can look at the cloud and they're like, mm -hmm. I think they like it. I see Tang on the monitor and she's walk very great. She's look more professional on the runway show. Walking the stage, I was shaking so bad with those scrutinizing eyes. It was really unnerving. I see like tons of people. So I was just looking straight, focus, focus, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I try to don't be nervous because when you start to be nervous, you do something wrong. Kate. Feel confident and just try to forget about that people on the street. I did my best. I had so much confidence and I know that the judges saw that I let my personality through. So I was very happy with that. So girls, you've completed your first runway challenge, so congratulations. Now, it's been very interesting. There's been some highlights and some lowlights sitting down there and watching you all on stage today. So, Daniel, maybe you'd like to run through some of the things that you noticed. Kayla was confident. I mean, you're not very tall, but you made the outfit work because the three of you are wearing the quirkiest outfits. And Kayla was the only one who walked quirky. Stephanie. You have to really work on your eyes because you can't have the same look all the time. That's something you're going to have to work on. Monica, I know the outfit was a little too long for you. Kudos for making it work. But I saw you skipping up the stairs. <laughs> I was about to trip. The dress was covering my legs from behind. Obviously, it's better for me to skip a bit than me falling. Helena, there was one thing I didn't like, which was your mouth. You know, you... Stop shaking. Really? Well... We can see you. Yes, it comes with experience. Yeah. As soon as I came towards the judges, I felt a twitch in this part of my lips going like that. But I couldn't control it. So at the end of it, when I posed, I was going... And Trang, you had a massive wardrobe malfunction and you made it work. As Trang was walking, the outfit was just slipping off her shoulders. But you didn't flinch, so well done. Rachel, I, I thought you were a little nervous. But I thought you lacked a little focus. Yes, I need to remember you, but you just seemed so quiet, like you, you let the clothes in, engulf you almost. Melissa had a nice attitude and we loved your personality, but you kept looking on the floor. It's my first runway. You have to work with your outfit. That's, that's something I learned. Now, Sophie, I think the train was a little too long for you and you grabbed the train in the fist of your hand and you were walking up and down the stairs. You've got to learn how to handle an elegant outfit, all right? In this challenge, I did a lot worse than I expected. It made me feel like less confident. Today was a challenge and there is a winner. The winner of today's runway challenge walks away with $5,000 worth of shopping vouchers from Wisma Atria. And that means she gets to go shopping for an entirely new wardrobe. Mm. <laughs> yes, now, the winner of today's runway challenge is Trump. I thought I had a chance of winning the prize, but I didn't. So I was a bit pissed. We got 
to the model house. It was freaking awesome. It was so cool. It's like a two floor house. You have three bedrooms. Oh my God, we're living in one of those expensive places that people pay a bomb for. <laughs> The rooms are huge and the bathroom is huge. I always love a huge bathroom. <laughs> this mirror is really special. Like, See? It's too clear. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, now I can see. Maybe you this one? The girls that I sharing room with is Astar, Tang and Stephanie. You, me, Monica. So, so. I'm sharing a room with five other girls. <laughs> Kate, Monica, Philanthropy, Sophia and G. This is my guy. <laughs> I am sharing a room with Kayla, Helena, and Melissa. <laughs> a swimming pool, oh my god, I love it. The house is better than I imagined. And I can hear all the other girls was like, it's very beautiful. Oh, it's really nice. I counted as three yeah. showers. We saw this big TV screen and the words just coming. We're like reading it together. Crowd Slammer Colors Party. Please run the census. Red Stop because the competition is just heating up. Love, Nadia. Woohoo! What could it be? I really, I don't even know. What is Clamor? None of us knew what Clamor meant. And we, we were thinking about weird stuff. She thinks sounds like Indian. Yeah. I think it's Indian. Yeah. Indian, yeah. Indian, like Indian. Indian. It was irritating because you were like, oh, what could it be? What could... I just want to know. Maybe so. we have curry splatter on <laughs> 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 Alright, good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream like tonight, today's photo shoot. It was a new shoot. I was, I'm so freaked out. I have done before a lot actually. A lot? Yeah, like maybe four or five. Helena, she was like, yeah, I've done like five photo shoots nude. You do have big titties, so it's okay. Big titties. <laughs> if I had big titties too, I would do a nude shoot too. I would love to show it to the whole world. Just be jealous. Welcome to Little India. This is one of my favorite cultural enclaves in Singapore. As you can see, it's a wonderful smoshbog of sights and sounds and colors. And you are going to be in the middle of all of this, doing your first photo shoot. I'm feeling nervous about the first photo shoot because I do not know what will be required of me. We are very pleased to have the designers from Reckless Erica with us today, Lewis and Afton. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi. Our labor is all about being quirky, so do your best and have fun. Thank you. Thank you. To help you pull out that inner quirkiness in you, we've got a photographer. You all know who he is, Todd Anthony Tyler. Morning, ladies. So today, you're mine. Finally. <laughs> we need to see you shine in front of the camera, so this is really your moment to give it your all. Now, how quirky do we want you to be? Each of you will have one exotic prop to make it work with the outfits. Can you do that? Yes. Are you excited? Yes. Let's go. I've never done a quirky photo shoot before, so the pressure is definitely on. <laughs> quirky. Quirky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know, clear. I feel a bit more pressure because yesterday I was hoping to do well, but I didn't do as well as I would like. So today I really have to step it up. Well, where are you going? I'm last. For the shoot, like you always have to think about your face and your eyes, but now like adding in the quirkiness and the hair and the makeup, it's like a lot, you know, to get. Monica! Wow, wonderful. You're yeah. queen of India. Yeah. Okay, go to Todd. 
We're just gonna kind of warm up and keep it a little bit simple. I'm gonna shoot a couple portraits of you, so work to the camera with your eyes, using your prop as well. I think we need to just go a little bit bigger. Yeah, give me something a little, because now we get. Todd wanted something crazy. So I was just posing how I could, what I know. I was just giving it all. Could I? Never mind. One more. OK. Maybe the eyes, bring the eyes down. Todd said my eyes are the same all the time. And I want to prove him wrong. OK, maybe lean back into the wall a little bit. And it shoots full length. Yeah, that's good. OK, yeah, yeah. Stephanie is really getting what quirky is. She's utilizing the prop, using her hair. These are all aspects that she can add to the shot to give me quirky. Yeah, I like that. Can you just try and yeah. see if you can really like try it? I don't think she fits in that outfit already. The thing is, I'm a little bit bigger than the other girls, so the size, it didn't fit me, the pants. I couldn't button them. I couldn't even pull them up. You really kind of, like, try and, like, squeeze into it or something. Mm -hmm. But I think that's the only outfit that we have. Do you have anything else? You're flirting with a hot female stranger in an elevator. You want to spice things up, so you press the emergency button. Here's what could happen. She finds you bold and sexy. She finds you bold and sexy, and so does her twin sister. She finds you bold and sexy, so does her twin sister, and so does her twin sister's twin sister. She's a nearsighted contract killer who's mistaking you for her target. You're sent into a parallel dimension only populated by 21 to 23-year-old girls who have a fear of commitment. Nothing happens. The button is broken. She finds you bold and sexy. And she sneezes hot dogs. It's actually a button that has been secretly installed by Hugh Hefner back in 1967 when he was using this elevator quite often. There's only one way to know what will really happen. Press to play. Do you aspire to be a top model? Enter our contest and you can be on your way to a career with Storm Model Management in London. See store displays for details. Playboy Fragrances. For her and for him. You get to change the leggings, it doesn't really work. Oh, the thing is I'm a little bit bigger than the other girls, so the size, it didn't fit me, the pants. We couldn't even pull it up, we couldn't button it. So we had this last minute wardrobe change. Maybe we gotta try to still use it in a little bit elegant, fashiony way, not just like you're holding a watermelon. Alyssa is boring the heck out of me. She's not utilizing the prop in a positive way for her at all. Melissa, she's a curvy girl, she's a plus size girl, mm -hmm. and she needs to stop doing that hoochie thingy, exactly. right? Because it, it, it makes her look really vulgar. It takes away from that whole fashion thing. It's like right? not fashion at all. Yeah. I actually do that whole sexy slutty thing. So that's why it was a little bit hard when I had to do the quirky thing, because I'm not used to doing anything. Kind of I've never done anything like that. Hopefully, it's enough to like get me through. You got it? Yeah, good. Now let's work a little bit with the eyes, give me something a little bit different. I'm finding G a little bit awkward. You know, she has the umbrella, but she's not thinking how it's relating to the photo itself. Yeah, think about the bangles that you have on, you can also use that. My mind is like empty, I just hear what Todd says to me. Nothing really goes through in my mind. Can I try moving around? Yep. Put that little bit of energy into the shot. Yep, yep, yep. Keep working the idea. Memory expression, your face. Look at it. Everything works. The drop, the poses, the outfit. Everything works except the face. 
facial expression is really expressive. Yeah. Yeah. Let's come to actually trying to use the drum a little bit. I want you to drum. Yeah. Okay. You want to, I think, find a combination between a little bit fashion and a little bit quirky, not just simply weird. Thanks. Tran doesn't really fully understand what quirky is, and she doesn't really utilize the prop as well as I hoped. I'm feeling nervous about the shoot because I haven't done anything quirky. I'm hoping it translates well on the camera. When you look at the camera, really try to connect with the person who's going to be viewing that image. Okay. Not too much of a blank page. Okay. Just feel stiff, not quirky. Play with the sari. Come on. Okay. Good, nice. Wow, you know what? I, I'm so amazed by her. She was so flat yesterday. Rachel is really surprising me. She took the advice from the fashion show and she really applied that advice today to the photo shoot. Good. Rachel, she's doing pretty well. I'm worried that I can't pull off the quirky look. Hey, maybe no hand. Just bring your hand down a bit. Chin down again. I don't want to shoot up your nose. Really not working. I was doing like different poses because I don't know what kind of quirky looks they're looking for. I'll try everything, like a trial and error. It's quirky and then they're just straight out awkward. Michaela's not really aware of her body and the best usage of the prop. She's certainly not giving me quirky. She's just giving me awkward. Give me your hand. What do you see in my future? Yeah, you look like a fortune teller. <laughs> I was walking around and playing with the girls because I like to play. I like to make them happy. <laughs> Money, not that much. Love, you have a lot of love. Kate just being herself. She's funny. She's the clown of the group. Everybody gets tired. She's like, talking. <laughs> the idea is that it's a little bit quirky. Right now, you're doing a little bit more quirky Arabian Nights sexy thing. I was not dramatic in my face. Some girls, when they do some face, they would look fashion, look nice, but I don't want to try. Let's keep it a little more quirky. Kate, the whole time she's just being fashionable, maybe slightly sexy, and I think she completely missed the point about being quirky. I'm not feeling well today. Cats are cold, but I take her medicine already. I'll be fine. Why don't you work your eyes, giving different expressions. Wow, she's amazing. She knows how to work her leg. Jessica, when I was watching her shit, she's like... She's so, like a top model. Her pose is perfect. You got a pretty tough job because after all these girls, I'm really tired. Oh. So you're gonna have to impress me. Okay. Todd said, you're the last girl. I'm very tired, you better impress me. And I was like, oh great, no pressure, right? So what, you're gonna be pissed if I don't impress you? Thanks a lot. This is good. You're the first girl that thought about turning and gave me a 45. Elena's another one of the models that I'm expecting quite a bit from. So how far? Yeah, you right here. Shooting? She is the only girl that's asking me where I'm shooting. Oh, covered my face. I think I pulled off quirky. I don't know how pretty it came off though. That's my main worry. I'm hoping one of them turned out nice. With the basket. OK, that's good. I'm going to stop in today for $5,000. I buy all the girl. I hope today will supply with my fragrance. Yeah. Tran comes home from shopping and she got loads and loads of stuff. Scarf, scarf and sunglasses. Yeah. I got a black scarf with white polka dots. I like it. Yeah, I really good like for your face. That's her price and she's sharing it with us. That's really sweet of Tran. Thank you. I'm still in denial. I don't want anyone to be eliminated. Elimination, it's very scary. Gives you too much pressure and
most of the time I just don't want to think about it. Anna, who do you think is going to go back? I, I mean, I didn't see how the rest of the girls fare. And it's really everybody's game. Elimination is coming up. You kind of can't help but think like, oh crap, am I going to go home first? You know, it's going to be like the suckiest to go home first. I know, I, I just really don't want to go back, so... Ladies, welcome to our first round of judging. Now the stakes are high in this competition as the winner stands a chance to win a modelling contract that covers Europe and the UK with London-based Stormed Modelling Agency. That includes a three months all expenses paid work trip to London. You'll also be on the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine and walk away with $100,000 Singapore. You will also be the face of Canon Ixus's 2013 campaign and to top it all off, you will get a Subaru XV. Now, on to our judges. Renowned fashion director, Daniel Boy. Hi, girls. Next up, we have Todd Anthony Tyler, who captured your best shots. Hi, ladies. Nice to see you again. And we have a special guest judge. She's Harper's Bazaar magazine's editor-in-chief, Lauren Clark Jensen. Welcome, ladies. OK, so let's get to it. So, judges, for the girls' first photo shoot, they had to do something that was quite quirky and unconventional, and that was in Little India. And the girls were given all sorts of props that were sourced from around the area, and they had to work with them and bring out the quirky. Let's bring down our first girl. We have G. Let's have a look at your photo shoot from Little India. This is your best shot. In this shot, we don't see quirky. Nothing much is jumping out at me. I don't think this shot came out pretty at all, if that's what you're aiming for. I, I almost think you look angry. And this was about as close as we could come to finding anything at all quirky in any of your shots. Thank you, Jay. Melissa. Melissa. How do you feel that you've done so far in the competition? I think considering my lack of experience, I think I've managed to pull and try to absorb as much as I can, like a dry sponge. I'm very willing to pick up whatever I can. It's a good attitude to have. Thank you. Let's take a look at your best shot. I don't think you really grasped the idea of quirky at all. Okay. I'm going to go with almost laughable because they were quite staged, cheesy, not really fashion-oriented at all. Melissa, I know that you had some wardrobe drama backstage. Well, it's great that you remain calm. Well done. Yay, thank you. What you have going for yourself right now is your enthusiasm. You can build from there. Thank you. Next up, philanthropy. You're one-dimensional. You need to break out of yourself and give a lot more in front of the camera. Kudos to you for making the prop work. I know it's really heavy and really big, but I thought the prop was more interesting than your face. You do look a little bit rigid. I think you're awkward holding the drum. You needed more rhythm, more expression. We needed to see a little bit of who you were. Thank you. We have Monica. Let's have a look at your best photo. I think that you really worked what you had and gave a lot of good length to your photo. Todd. I would have to say, though, when you look through your shots, half the time your eyes were closed. But I'm here to learn, so I'm just trying my best. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Kayla. Your body is moving, there's a flow there with your props and everything, but there's something missing in the eyes. I can tell that you're nervous in the shoot. I can tell your face is very expressionless while your body is fully in flow. I felt you're really struggling a lot with the idea. I will give you that you tried, but it was coming off much more as awkward 
As for quirky, you didn't really nail it. Thank you. Next, we have Kate. Can you turn around and walk back down, please? Nicely, not skip or run. Kate. Hello. You are quirky, okay? So let's see if that quirky came across in your photograph. This is your best shot. I love the picture. It's a great picture. But I love it because of Todd's skill, not because of you, because I think you're being upstaged by the fabric. Did we find quirky? No. Did we find something a little exceptional? No. Yeah, I was a little nervous. Sorry. Yeah, I think you really have to bring it. Mm. Okay? Thank you. Next up, we have Basin. It was painful to watch you shoot. You kept giving him the same pose for 10 minutes. I'm not sure that you have the depth to really bring a lot more than just this kind of an image. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jessica. And this is your best shot. What I like about you is you're a really shy in person, but on stage and in front of the camera, you, you pop. So I really love that. So I think in the shot, we have quirky, we have Oh, what's happening down there at my shoe? You know, there's some expression there, so it's good. There's a lot of movement here, and I think all in all, it's a wonderful shot. Thank you. We have Trang. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I could see this in the pages of a magazine. You have all the attributes of being a model, but I can see even how you're looking at me right now. You're not quite sure what I'm saying. If you don't understand something, sometimes I know there's a language barrier, and this goes for all of the girls, please ask. Thank you, Trang. Thank you. Next up, we have Rachel. For the fashion show, the judges said that you were forgettable. And this is your best shot. You're definitely not forgettable. You photograph really well. Wow. I love your picture. When I saw you at the fashion show, I thought, wow, this girl's a goner. She's flat, but you delivered at the shoot. Was it quirky? Sometimes. But you worked your ass off, and I love that. One bit of advice with the shoes, the best trick is to wear a nude colored shoe. Then keep your legs long, the shoes continue the legs, and wear something short. That gives you the illusion of extra height. It's a secret. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Stephanie. I think it's great. I love the pose. It's very girl next door, very whimsical. I would have liked to see a little bit more of a smile in this. I love it. I love the expression in your eyes. You've got wonderful eyes. You were one of the only girls that actually got quirky. Thanks. We have Ashta. I just think you need to work on your confidence more than anything. What I see in this picture is a little bit of an intimidation. We need to see that character. We need to see some personality. You don't want to be dull and vacant. You really need that vibrance. Helena. Uh, Hi. Hi. You're very vibrant. Yeah, OK, strike your voice. Go. You go for it. Let's have a look at your photo shoot. Your photo was Quirky. Yeah. This is, I think, one of the only shots of all of the girls that I've actually been able to feel that vibe. You're the only girl that gave me the over-the-shoulder 45. Yeah. Do you like the picture? I think it's great. I was just laughing because it's so bubbly. You were a joy to watch. You were giving Todd a different pose every time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have Sophie. We're not even going to go and try to say you interpreted quirky at all. You were just kind of there. You look like a model. You're tall, you're gorgeous, you're statuesque. But you have to bring it. It's not enough. You've got a great face. I'd just like to see that translated into pictures. Yeah? Yes, me too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ladies. Now the judges and I will take some time to deliberate. And when we come back, we will let you know who is still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. So judges, now is the time that we really need to decide which one of the girls we will be sending home based on how they performed at the photo shoot. Monica, 
I mean, if 50% of the pictures, her eyes were closed. Time is money, and you know, we can't afford to always reshoot. Which is unfortunate because she's so photogenic. Sweetie Stephanie. Certainly took the advice about the eyes. I really didn't like those big Bambi eyes she was doing on the runway. <laughs> She just photographs well. We have the magic hands lady, Kate. Because she's really exuberant in real life and everything just falls flat in front of a picture. There's more life in the sari. Philanthropy. She just has to get the personality. She's got to step it up. She really yeah. does. Gee. A little bit for sure you can kind of see her underlying character. I'm not sure if it's anger or just an yeah. attitude, overall yeah, attitude. Yeah. Jessica, I like her. On, I love Jessica. On the stage, yes. you know, in photos, I think she, she really kind of... Yeah. There's something there, you know? Next up, we have Ashta. She's gorgeous. She's kind of like a mannequin. Really good, really beautiful, but flat. Let's move on now to Melissa. On the runway, I didn't remember her, to be honest. See, that's yeah. the thing. She was wearing a gorgeous dress, but no one remembers. Mm. But I love her attitude. I love the fact that she's enthusiastic. I think we all agree that it wasn't the best photograph. There is at least some life to her, where we didn't see that from every girl. Sophia. She's got the height, she's got the proportion, the long limbs, beautiful face. Flat picture. It does absolutely nothing. I was shocked when I saw her in person and, and that was her photograph. She really just did not pull through on that photo. Basin. I think for an Asian beauty, she is actually fairly attractive. I didn't like her. If it's anyone who's a one-trick pony, it's her. Kayla. Yeah, I think it's a little bit lost in her face. The focus isn't there. I, she didn't give me anything. Nothing like, to work with. Yeah, there's like no vibe, no communication, no... I, I just... I didn't get anything from her. She's not bringing it, unfortunately. Yeah. And this is the reality of competition. Yeah, exactly. The one who surprised us all, the beautiful Rachel. I thought, yeah, this girl is not going to last yeah, it's not gonna one last. day. Exactly. You know? yeah, she, and she, was, she was so amazing. Next up, we have Helena. I think she was cute and fun and energetic. I really thought she brought some life into this image. I think she has what it takes. She worked the props, she's got the face, she's got the quirky, she's got the moves. And yeah, there's something happening behind those eyes. Trang, she won the runway challenge. Yeah, as, as a, a fashion, fashion image, image alone. you can see that yeah. potentially in a magazine. Mm. Uh, but she didn't do quirky. That's no. Sure. I mean, it's a great picture. I love this picture. I love the way she looks in this picture, but it's not quirky. Well, for the photo shoot, we kind of know who represented the whole theme well enough and the ones that didn't. And I think we've come to a decision, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Ride the movies at Universal Studios Singapore. Meet over 100,000 marine animals. Discover the world's largest aquarium with over 800 species. And Asia's ultimate destination. Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. Fourteen beautiful girls stand before me, but I only have 13 photographs in my hand. These 13 photographs represent the girls who are still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. The best photo goes to... Helena. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the runner-up for best photo is... Stephanie. Congratulations. Thank you. We have Rachel. Trung. I have Jessica. You're still here. Ashton. Monica. Philanthropy. Basa. 
Can I have Kate, please? Kate. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Okay? Don't cry. Next up, I have... Sophia. Congratulations. Can I have G? Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Kayla, Melissa, please step forward. Two beautiful girls stand before me, but I only have one photograph in my hands. The girl whose name I do not call will have to go home immediately. Melissa, the judges were impressed with your readiness to learn and your eagerness, but you really have a long, long way to go. Kayla, you took an okay photograph, but in all other aspects, you just didn't deliver. You fell flat. So who stays in this competition? Melissa, congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model, but you really have to work hard. You understand? You are at a slight disadvantage, but you've got to push it. Okay? Go. Thank you. Thank you. Kayla. On the next Asia's Next Top Model, startling news rattles the model house. Working with her teammates is too daunting and shatters philanthropy. Philanthropy, you're not, you're not getting it. I don't think that there is any single one good shot. As the reality of the competition seeps in, the high stress proves to be way too much for one of the girls.